Joining us now in studio, we have Pioneer Elementary School teachers Raylan and Elisa. Raylan, you teach kindergarten. Elisa, you teach fourth and fifth. Thank mm -hmm. you for joining us this morning. You're welcome. So they are here today to talk a little bit about the importance of childhood literacy. And um, Pioneer Schools is going to be getting some free books from our If You Give a Child a Book campaign. So we're really excited to meet the kids later today. But first off, talk to me about the importance of getting books into the hands of these kids. I think it's really an amazing opportunity for our students to get these books. While we try to provide a lot of opportunities for kids to get these books, they have to return them. So for them to get them and then keep them is really amazing and for them to not have to pay for them is even better. And you were mentioning to me just while we were chatting, uh, cost of books, uh, talk about that as a barrier for some of these kids. Um, all schools have issues with kids from all different poverty levels. And so some students just have less access to books than others. So again, for us to be able to just give them to them really helps them have a love of learning, really connect to these books because it's something that's theirs. Okay, okay. Oh, that's so special. And Raylan, you teach kindergarten. So I do. talk about, yeah. you know, you've got these kiddos excited about books. Uh, what, what's that experience like for them getting to pick them out? So we're over halfway through the year we celebrated our 100 days on Friday and um, so they're really starting to pick out words sight words everywhere we go and so when I was able to tell them yesterday that they were going to get six books of their own that they got to pick out and it was theirs and they could read it as many times as they wanted and take it home they were so excited it was just it's just building that love of reading and and having that ownership over getting to choose what they want to read and what they're excited to learn about is so fun okay Okay, so cool. And talk a little bit about the importance of literacy at these kind of critical ages, both in kindergarten when they're maybe learning to read, you know, front to back, up to, you know, down yeah. to, you know, the, the mechanics of reading a book and then, and then um, you know, some phonics as well. And then also in fourth and fifth grade, what those touch points are in terms of what you're trying to do, um, where they should be at. So maybe let's start with kindergarten. Yeah. So. Uh, there's a big movement out there right now about the science of reading and how important it is to get back to those basics, you know, the, the phonics and the, the s counting syllables and, and all of that kind of stuff. And um, without those very, very basic foundational skills in place that we work on, uh, it, it just makes it more difficult as kids get older and they transition from learning to read to reading to learn, which is what Elisa um, it gets to experience yeah. in fourth and fifth grade, but okay. it's just um, also we're discovering more and more about learning disabilities, especially in the reading area with dyslexia, and um, having these foundational skills can really help us key in on what it is that, that how these kids need to be taught so that they can actually access the same information and have the same joy of reading that everyone else has. Okay, and um, Alisa, you're seeing kids then kind of creating meaning once yeah. they start figuring out how to read. Yeah, once, once they've transitioned into that reading to learn piece, then we're trying to dive into character development and setting and plot and really getting into these storylines and what extra pieces can I take out of it. And everybody has a different style okay. that they like to read. So you're not going to be able to just give every kid the same book and say, enjoy it. Mm -hmm. right. So when we're able to provide those opportunities that they get to choose what type of book they want to read, it really helps develop that love of learning. Okay. Thank you both again for being here. Again, we have Raylin and Elisa from Pioneer Elementary School. And today, all of the kids at Pioneer Elementary School are going to get to take home six free books that they pick out themselves. Right. And this is all thanks to your donations through the Scripps Foundation, If You Give a Child a Book Campaign, where I think our, those, those donations are kind of multiplied by the conduit of the fantastic public schools teachers in the state that are working so hard to teach Montana's kids how to read and be great citizens. Thank, Thank you. you again Thank for being you. here.